Not only does the stretching of the walls of the heart cause atrial fibrillation cells, inflammation can cause AFib cells to form and also intrinsic scar in the walls of your heart, which also promotes atrial fibrillation. So poorly controlled diabetes causes generalized inflammation throughout your entire body. High cholesterol levels can cause inflammation. So these are various things that you want to keep under control if you have that problem. Now, being overweight also is a cause of atrial fibrillation because it puts a lot more stress on your heart if you have to carry around a lot uh, more weight, if you're a lot heavier. And there have been studies that have shown that the further you are from your ideal body weight, and your ideal body weight is a simple calculation. You go online and you just plug into the formula, you plug in your age and your height and your gender, and it gives you the ideal weight you should be for your age, height, and gender. The further you are away from that, likely the faster your atrial fibrillation cells are forming and the faster it's progressing. And then of course, being too sedentary. If you take two people with the same amount of atrial fibrillation and one person goes to the gym three times a week and does cardiovascular exercises by running or biking, and the other person just sits around and watches TV all day, the more sedentary person is likely going to develop atrial fibrillation at a faster rate than the more active person, which plus the more active person is going to have a healthier heart in general and may actually lead to lower plumbing issues as well.